Good afternoon folks and uh, welcome. Uh, what we're going to do today, because uh, I've ordered some capacitors for Andy's uh, radiogram. What we're going to do today, we're going to recover, see if we can sort out that uh, binner tone. Uh, that Minotone machine that has the 8 track on it. See if they sent us enough cover in here to do this and put that in the bin in a bit. Oh, yeah, and I think we've got enough here easily. Yeah, yeah, it's got to look better than what it did, hasn't it? I mean, come on. Uh, Right, so what I'll do, I'll just, I'm not going to use the front bit anyway. Basically what we're going to do, well we've got plenty enough there, and it's wide enough. That was my biggest problem really, my biggest worry really. Would it be wide enough? Now, let's see, we need a standing knife so we can get at it. Um, move my phone. Right, this is going to be some fun. <laughs> right, well, let's see. Right, I can do veneering. Veneering is a lot easier than doing this. I think so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the hinges off and they won't be in the way then. So what we'll do, we'll take the hinges off and they can be put back on because they're going to be in the way. And I've sanded this down to give it a bit of a key to allow this uh, Fablon stuff to stick on. Uh, take the hinges. I don't need to take them all the way off. I can just take them and move them out of the way. So if I do, ooh, do that. I'm not going to cover all the way down the back there, I don't think. Uh, just the top, really. And, but we don't know. Uh, we're not sure how we're going to do it. Uh, yeah, I'll pull the hinges all the way off in case I decide to. No, I won't because I won't go that far down it. Only has to go over the top and around the sides, and I've already, I've already sanded this down. We've got a nice key on there for the wood. Uh, well, I'll say wood. We've got a nice right. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to show you all this. I'm not even sure where, sure where to start. To be honest. Right, what I'm going to do, put that down there a minute. Put that, leave that there so it doesn't roll back up. Why somebody painted it black in the first place? I don't have a clue. So that's good because we can we can bring this over and it's got lines on this. It's under there. Nothing, so why is it rocking? That's 
it. So if I now bring this to the end, to this bench is not big enough for this sort of work. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this over here. Come on, get this straight. And it is wider, so that's good. I'll get it as straight as I can. I want it as straight as I can and as level as I can. Perfect there, that's good. That's not quite straight. You want it lopsided. A bit more. I think that's about right, no it ain't. Let's move that. Just move a smidgen. Right there, that's right. It's just slightly out. I'd say that's about right. So what I can do now, because I'm going to trim it all anyway, so just to get the bulk of this out of the way, that's comes over the top there, which is what we want. There's plenty there, that's all right. And if I just there, and then. That's it. I'll do. Don't matter. It's not straight. That bit won't be getting used. So now we can put that out of the way. And what we'll do, we'll. We will now yeah, turn it back upside down. There we go. So we need to get that as straight as we can back there. That should right. And this one. Is there that's, it always moves that one? Oops, should you get that one in? That's just so that we're that's it, that's perfect. I'm not in. So what we'll do next this is going to be some fun because I've got to do it and not get the air, any air bubbles in it Perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's it. So we'll leave that like that. 
Now, if I peel this to get it started, Now it's just a matter of just times where you wish you had fingernails. You know, I bite my fingernails and I shouldn't really, because you never know when you need them. Perfect that. Yeah. Shut up. It's getting Basically, you're getting that. That's perfectly straight, that now. It's keeping it there while I peel the bloody stuff off. It's a pain. Once you get it started, once you get it started, there's no problem. There we are. All of that just me double seeing things through the glasses. Oh, for God's sake. Mm. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm trying this is a pain there we are there we go Very thin this stuff. Very thin. But I mean, to be honest with you, I need to peel that off there. And that paper there needs to cut me. No, if that'll go all the way along like that. If that'll go all the way along there like that. There we go. It's not bad. There we go. Got to get that out of there. So what I need to do next is bring this up. And take the, the 
making sure I get the air bubbles out. I'm not worried about that because I'll pull that round. I'll push that over the top there for now. It'll be trimmed at the end. Not worried about that because I've got to get the. I've got to get under there. And get you have to probably go this way right, we go. Yeah, I'm sure we're smooth there we are we're lovely and that's Pull this up. Oops. Oh, what's happened there? There we go. Pull that there. So what we'll do now, we'll pull that to as far as we can there. And that way I won't get my fingers all sticky. all around that so don't smooth that side because I have to pull this up here and put my hand in there pull that up there and I'm going to have to turn this round going into there because that's that there at the back that's okay there That's all level there, that's okay. That's all pretty much okay there. So basically I need to make sure I don't rip it.
and it's getting ripply there now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this here. The reason why I'm doing that is because I need this to come up and just I mean there we go the front's nice so that's good now this bit here Pull that off there. This stuff is good, good at sticking. I mean, it's to be honest, this is not bad. I mean, it's it sticks pretty well. I will have to go around it all and trim it. The air bubbles out. motorboard out and stuff. I have to do all that. Actually that's not bad. Hi Anna. Hello. You alright? Hang on a minute, folks. Right. We're back. We're back. And I could have got that off there and used that bit, but I don't need it. And uh, I've got the bubbles out on the side. I'm actually quite pleased. So what we'll do now, we'll start cutting it to length you know what we need which is about I'm not bothered about how it looks underneath I mean it's as long as I don't go too ridiculous I mean I'm not bothered get rid of that There we go, that's good. I mean, there's a bit there, I'm not bothered about that. I can live with that. And... Yeah, that, that, that'll be all right, that was. Yeah, what I might do with that, actually, I might, I might just try perfect I mean I'm keeping it myself anyway this is my music center for me so it doesn't have to be it just has to just has to look okay when you look at it you know it just takes it gets rid of that bloody horrible black paint which was disgusting you know that end there no problem uh, what we'll do, we'll do the back last because I want to get all this excess material here off the front. And what I'm going to do with this, I've had a thought on this. Look at that. It's 
sticks all over you know it sticks like the proverbial to a blanket I really am improving aren't I because what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna Pull that off there. Feed that through down, down like, like there, like that. And just tuck that into there, and that will look really, really good. Now. This could be a bit tricky, but it's not going to be seen this, so it does ooh, left hand, right handed cutting, eh? There we go. And you keep the little bits of off cuts and do this side. Do that side. What we'll do, we'll pull that over, but we'll, we'll do we'll cut that. There we go. Cut that in the corner there, around the outs. Cut that there. Scraps. That's going to be trimmed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Cut that. There we go. These bits so they don't stick to anything. And what I'll do there, I will fold that in. Pull that tight, just on that ledge. Fold that in there. In. What we'll do next, we'll go along there. The issue we've got here it really is this little block here and cut that there, cut that there, and then cut along do is just and that will hold in there anyway no matter whether that no matter what that's going to stay there because it doesn't matter about that because that will stay in there because of the front anyway the front will hold that in place doesn't matter about the bottom the front will hold that in place 
when it's all pushed back in that'll hold in place by the front so we've got that there and now what we'll do we'll trim the other side here and then we can look at Bullshit. Take it as slow as I can. I'm not bothered it's a bit wavy. I mean, I'm not bothered if it's not perfect. Oops. As long as, as, long as it looks good. Right off there. And I think this is going to turn out pretty good. I mean, I'd much rather, I would, to be honest, much rather use a veneer. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's easier to work with, uh, in my opinion. And given that I've done veneering, and I've got a right to express my opinion on that one, I think. But that there, you see, that's not really. I'd be happy to. There, you yeah. Lift that bit off there, there. That's not too bad. There's a little mistake there, but we can live with that. Right. And this will all pull tight once I. Now, the back here, what I'll do there, uh, it did go on a bit lopsided, but there's no way I'm in that. I can just go along there. That's that straight. Then all I do, go along the back. I could fold that back edge over, but it wouldn't look right. Oops. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do it properly. And... Hmm. I thought that would have come off in one go, but it didn't. So what we'll do, we'll go down there again. Gotta cut the all out yet for the motor, for the record deck and the cassette deck to go back in. Will that just pull off there now? Yeah. Where that hinge is, is catching. There we go. Peel that off my fingers. My thumb even. I mean, the stuff that was put on here was probably somewhat similar to this anyway. When this thing was new. Right. So 
a look at the top. And do you know something? I'm actually very pleased with that. Mm. There we go. Look at that. And all we do now is just cut out. middle the edge and then oh not cut the hammer for a minute and all we do is just turn the ends over and Once our record deck's in there, once the record deck's in there, that's no problem, you'll never, you'll never see that. That's all right. That's, that's there. Now all we do is we go I meant to go straight across and didn't. a bit but then again it covers it it could it doesn't matter that because the tape deck mechanism covers that bit anyway so we can afford we can afford a little bit of leeway not much but we can afford we can afford the odd and we'll cut that there and it doesn't matter that because that's under the mechanism so so that doesn't matter there we go 
go. And that's just trim this there. And we'll get it as right as we can. That should just pull off. Yeah, lovely. Now this end here. Yeah, let's turn this round. It doesn't matter if we don't get this perfect, because the mechanism sits over it anyway. doesn't really matter because the tape mechanism you won't see that there we are mm, I say you won't see it I'm pretty sure you won't, so let's find out, shall we? Because we can put the tape mechanism back now. I've got to put a new belt on the tape mechanism, but I'm just going to test fit it. Oops, there we go. And we've got to put them sockets back in. It's got to come back out anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that at this point. But that goes back in like that. Yeah, you won't see it. Right. Yeah, once it's in, see that slides. pain in the ass actually to get this out and that there could have that there could have been stretched a bit further over because that is but I can't do now now I've stuck it down just look at that and that goes just get the fucking wires down out of the way there we I mean this, uh, oops, there we go, right, so that goes under there, that's what's jamming it, so put my hand in there, there we are, now if I slide that under, slide that back into place, You can't see it, and that's where it goes. And we'll put the record deck in. We're not using this record deck, but just for appearances. There we go. Put the record deck in. There we are. Let's smooth all that out there at the back. And there, you are. there we go. Let's move that down there. Let's move that under there. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut that there. Let's take that out. There we go. Because the music centre has to. There's a lip on the music centre that goes under there. And uh, that's pretty much, folks. 
that's pretty much uh, how it's going to be. I mean, that there could have been stretched over like that there, but there's not much I can do about that. I'm hoping it will shrink. And that'll go in like that. Right. And I'll just show you the front view. There we are. How about that? That's nice, that isn't it, folks? And I'm happy with that. Uh, you know, veneer, to be honest, I think it's easier. But, you know, I'd rather work with veneer. But, you know, it looks better than what it did. I mean, it just got rid of that horrible paint. And it looks better than what it did. And uh, I am very, very, very happy with it, the way it's turned out. I mean... Chuck that in the bin in a bit, just chuck it in there for now, there we go. But I'm happy with that, I mean that's... I mean it's... It's not perfect. It ain't perfect but it's... Better than what it was, I mean look at that. That's spot on that. I'm happy with that, I'll get this music centre put back together. Uh, I've done the chassis, that works perfectly. Uh, what we'll do, we'll get an auto changer out in a bit and put an auto changer in. Because I think an auto changer is the way to go with this. Uh, I really do. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, folks. I'm going to leave it there. And I'll bring Andy's radio chassis back up. So it's off the floor. For now. And... Uh, <coughs> Thank you very much for joining me on uh, this recovering video and just think I've got no air holes in it. How about that? You know, nothing. It's all nice and flat, which is what I expect. And it's stuck down lovely. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to work great. I'm happy with that. The deck isn't being obstructed anywhere. Uh they could have cut the hole a bit bigger for the deck, really, but because it is a bit close, but it's good. And uh, we're going to have an auto changer in it, and it's going to work well. Why? Because I did it. Thank you very much for joining me, folks. If you want to see more, then subscribe. Uh, if you want to see my videos as they're uploaded, then click the bell to be warned, uh, to be notified even. And uh, I hope you like, uh, I hope you all like the way I'm now presenting my channel. Um, and it's, is that on the screen that, or is it a mark on the veneer? Oh, it's on the screen. I thought it was a mark on here. <laughs> I really must clean my monitor. And anyway, but that's, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. You all have a good day and have a better one tomorrow. Thanks for, bye for now folks. And thanks for watching.